Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. I love a vlog, like there's something about filming a vlog and watching a vlog that's just better I think than a sit down video. Don't get me wrong, sit down videos are fine and are enjoyable to watch. I just don't think I'm personally overly good at them, like I just prefer vlogging. I think it's more entertaining. If I'm watching a vlog, I feel a bit more engrossed than I do with a sit down video. It should be a good one, I've got a few exciting things planned so we know that danny and i got engaged back in april now april the 30th we got engaged so tomorrow is our engagement party we're talking about having an engagement party ever since the day we got engaged even before we got engaged in fact we wanted to have an engagement party and then it got through may june july and nothing had been planned nothing had been organized and then we went to our local pub and saw that you could like sort of hire out the a little room at the back of the pub and we thought oh, that might be perfect for our engagement party so we spoke to the people that own the pub and agreed a date which is tomorrow the 5th of november seems weird having it on the 5th of november because i know it's bonfire night but it was literally the only weekend it seemed that like family could do and obviously the main idea of this engagement party is so that family can meet yeah this engagement party is tomorrow we've got about 70 people coming i think um i'm very overwhelmed by the whole thing i won't lie like i've been waking up at 4am most nights having like cold sweats about this engagement party just because it's a lot of people coming together and it's people i've not met before it's people danny's not met before from my side i absolutely can't wait so people have been amazing like our friends and family have traveled from so far and have all booked accommodation one of my best friends she lives down in portsmouth now and obviously we're north yorkshire so she's literally traveled like um like six hours it must be danny's dad and his family they live in dorset so that's like a five hour journey also some of danny's family live in scotland again that's like four five hour journey so people are really making the effort to come and i think it's so lovely and i'm so grateful that people from all over and all parts of our life are coming to celebrate with us some people are actually arriving today so my mum she's traveling up from bedfordshire today she's going to stay with us tonight and then she's got a hotel tomorrow night because then Danny's mum's gonna stay here. It's such a shame that we don't have like a proper guest room um, or like a couple of guest rooms because I'd love to properly like host people, but bless them, they're gonna have to sleep on the sofa when they stay. And yeah, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna include in this vlog. It might just be a bit of stuff throughout the week. It depends how much footage I get at the engagement party. But I'm about to go and pick my mum up in like an hour from the train station, it's like 15 minutes away. So I'm just making a quick spot of pasta, pesto pasta, just a really, really quick lunch. That's pretty much all we had in. I've also just been to B&M. <laughs> I've stood here before and done your B&M haul before, which is hilarious, but basically we spring cleaned the house last night from top to toe. Danny was literally on his hands and knees, like scrubbing every single corner of the house. Um, and he instructed me to go and buy some diffusers from B&M to make the house smell nice. So we actually, I picked up three diffusers. I've got one, two, and three three diffusers so we'll pop them around the house i've just got two candles um and then basically because our mums are staying what we wanted to do is we wanted to make them like a little welcome a little welcome box a little welcome gift so i picked up <laughs> i was very undecided on whether to do this because because it was both our mums i was like doubling up and it was becoming quite expensive but i just got like I went around and found stuff that was like a pound or something. So I got this um, little storage box for £2.50. And then in the storage box, I'm going to put... So I got them a mug each. This is for Danny's mum. She loves like butterflies and bees and stuff. And then I got this one for my mum. Cozy cup of joy. So I'll put one... Basically, we'll just reuse the box. So my mum's coming tonight so she can have the box tonight with her stuff in it. So her mug can go in the box. I also got them both a argan oil hair treatment, so that can go in there. I got them some face wipes, so she can have that one. I also got them um, a little shower gel each, a hand cream each. Um, this is literally how cheap I've gone, by the way. Like, who remembers these from when you were like 16 at school? These little Charlie sprays. They're like, I think like. 60p or something but it's just nice just a little nice spray so i got them one of those each i got them um a little sponge for the shower just come in a pack of two so i can just take them out i also did the same with flannels like makeup remover cloths cloth. so these came in a pack of two so i'll split them up um what else did i get what else did i get oh i found this um 
Molly's coming up as well. I think she's coming tomorrow, tomorrow morning. But I found this um, in b and I don't know how good it's going to be, but um, I saw it and thought of her. Beautiful baby bump sheet mask. So it's meant to cool, soothing and cooling sheet mask for expectant mothers. This is what it looks like. I just thought that might be a nice little thing to give to her. What do you get for the girl that's got everything? You get her a baby bump sheet mask. Oh, I also got um, Danny's mum some hand gel because she loves hand gel. And I got my mum some body butter. Oh no, I got them both some body butter. I've got two body butters. Did I get anything else? I got myself some nail polish remover because that's the current situation. But yeah, that is everything I picked up from B&M. Um, I'm going to make this box look all cute now for when my mum arrives in like an hour. I'm going to finish making my lunch. You're actually perched on a HelloFresh box, so I need to sort that out. Yeah, there is a lot going on, and it all starts today, and I'm very excited to bring you along with me. Basically, I think I like hosting. Um, I know it's literally nothing much, but it's just a few little essential bits that when someone's coming over to stay, they might have maybe forgotten or might wish they had, like their own mug or some face wipes. So yeah, I'll just give that to my mum when she gets in. Is anyone else's comfort food literally... Pasta, let me show you. <laughs> I have cake to eat and ketchup, but comfort food, what can you do? Pasta, pesto, cheese, and ketchup. I'm gonna enjoy this now, and I literally have like 20 minutes to leave and get my mum. I'm back from the train station, just picked my mother up. Say hello, mother. Hi. Have you been on the vlogs before? Um, yeah, when we had an argument in Cambridge. Oh, the rooftop bar in Cambridge. Yeah, I don't like... know if you remember when my mum and I went to Cambridge and I was trying to vlog, we just had an argument. Um, because I had a glass of wine on the rooftop bar yeah. in the middle of the day. And I was hangry. Yes. I was really hangry. Just got back from the train station. I'm going to make my mum a cosy cup of joy in her new mug. Going to have a nice Earl Grey tea, I think. And actually, I've just had a parcel. Sorry, I will make it in a sec. I've actually spotted those Prosecco glasses. Aren't we not having Prosecco? No, mum. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Um, I've just had a parcel from Forever Unique. And I thought I knew what I was going to wear tomorrow. However, I've just laid out the outfits. And now I'm really in a predicament because I literally love them all. Um, excuse all that mess, but this was the jumpsuit I was going to wear from Club L and I've just opened this parcel of all these outfits. Oh God, I might have to do a catwalk later for my mum. Everybody, it is day of engagement party. The engagement party. So that very well, all things considered. I thought I'd be up all night worrying about it, but um, you know, just been was. Sorry. Say hello. Are you excited? I'm not Come that. on. I'm not Are that. you excited? Very, very excited. Danny's got so many friends and family coming. <laughs> We're both very excited to see everyone. <laughs> A little apprehensive. I'm terrified. Um, yeah, day of engagement party. It's about ten o'clock now. Quarter past ten. Now we're going to go for a little run just around our you. village green, um, and then come back, have some lunch, get ready. Mhm. Mm we're doing separate things today. We are. Yeah. It's like a wedding day, isn't it? Mm. We're not seeing each other. I feel like you're going to fall over if I let go. Of Sorry, you. no. I've um, made a rookie error and I've tanned, by the way. It's quite good, isn't it? Um, I made a rookie error and I haven't charged my watch, so I'm gonna have to kill a bit of time until my watch charges. Is. I'm not going for a run back my watch, I'm not doing it. We're gonna go to the venue now because the lady's coming to put a little like balloon, like a half balloon arch up, and um, she just wants me to tell her where I wanted to put it. I actually have no idea to be fair. So we're going to walk over there now, hopefully my watch is charged by the time that's done and then I'll come back and we'll watch and then we'll go for a run. And we are meant to be there in five seconds. Really? Yeah. Right. Peace out. I don't wanna tell you to trap me, but I don't wanna play your face. 
change of action. I'm looking for some on the it in my car. What's it? Then and then go get in my car. Um, go on then. So, um, back from the hairdressers, actually pleasant. Oh. oh. Hello. We thought it was Danny, but it's not Danny, but he went to the door and we went, oh, it wasn't even Danny. I'm going to go and hide in the toilet because I don't know who it is. Guys, I'm ready. Hair and makeup done. This is my little jumpsuit. Jumpsuit from Club L. We're just here, me, Danny, and our mums, Molly, just having a little pre-drink. I'm so happy with how my hair's turned out. The hairdresser did amazing, keeping my extensions in. This is my outfit. I will bring my camera with me. Um, I probably will pass it to Molly, I won't lie, because um, I'm going to be doing too much chatting to worry about filming. But yeah, cheers if I don't speak to you before. Guys, if Zoe's camera dies, it's because she hasn't charged it. Not me. So yeah, I think I owe it to everyone. And of course, Zoe, just to say thank you to everyone for making the way up, um, getting hotels and, you know, um, fueling your car and just enjoying tonight is uh, it means a lot to us as well you're all here um so why are you all here of course is for our engagement on the 30th of april this year i've beasted zoe up uh, the mountains. <laughs> good morning everybody oh i don't even know where to start to be honest first i'd like to apologize to not only myself but to everyone else that was expecting some really good engagement party footage, um, I was so nervous before the party started that my priorities were not thinking about my camera or a change of battery. Um, so I actually turned up to my own engagement party with a dead battery. Um, my camera literally turned on. I don't know what was filmed or what you've seen probably absolutely nothing because Danny went to do a speech um, and I said to Molly make sure you film it and apparently she turned it on and I had no battery um, and both my spare batteries were at home so I'm really gutted about that I got lots of footage on my phone but my phone quality I've told you before is so bad so I probably won't bother inserting it but I've got loads of pictures honestly it was I would say the best night of my life I think it was because, let me move you somewhere so you've not seen my double chin. <laughs> Basically, I think I enjoyed it so much because I was dreading it so much, if that makes sense. Like, I was so nervous and I was so unsure of what to expect that it actually turned out being amazing and like, everything just went so, so well. Everyone got on great. Um, I loved my hair, my makeup, my outfit. Everyone looked amazing. Everyone made so much effort with their outfits. The pub where we had it was perfect. I was worried that the location was going to be too small, but no, it was perfect. Like everyone fit in the little pub, like just so well. I just, I can't explain how good of a night it was. Um, and I'm just so appreciative of all our family and friends for making the effort to come up. Like there was people from all walks of life, like all parts of the country that had travelled a long, long way um, to come and spend the evening with us. And it's made me even more excited for our wedding in a couple of years. Um, but it was a nice taste, like it was a good, it was a good chance to meet people that I'd not met yet before the wedding. If you're thinking about having an engagement party, um, I would definitely do it just because it's a nice, just a nice taster into um, what the big day will eventually be like. Um, I wasn't actually hungover at all the next day. Like I drank a, an okay amount, but I think a lot of people have said because I was so occupied with like speaking to people and making sure that the night went smoothly, like I didn't really get drunk to be honest. So I woke up with no hangover. It's actually a few days later now. Um, I haven't vlogged for a few days just, but I woke up with no hangover. Um, me, Danny and my mum went for a roast the next day and just at the pub that it was at and just had a big debrief about everything. Um, 
and honestly I've just not stopped smiling about it for the last two days because it just couldn't have gone any better like I know I keep saying it but I really couldn't have gone any better I'm actually at my mum's now um I'm gonna be here for the week I didn't put oh hello hello little Toby I didn't put um I didn't use my October half term so I'm my leave for that so I'm using it now so I'm home for the week um she's calling me because we're going to the gym and I'm running late um because I'm chatting to you guys right I'm gonna bring you along with me this week I've got loads and loads and loads of stuff to do me and mum are going to Cambridge tonight like some cooking some cooking thing at Giggling Squid this Thai restaurant but I will fill you in on everything later I'm gonna bring you to the gym with you now um I'm gonna try and do a Pilates class I think with my mum if she can get me in so yeah I'm actually on leave now um what day is it today? Tuesday today. I was at work yesterday, so I'm on leave till Friday. So I'm going to be at my mum's until the weekend. Got lots of plans. That's my nana. Good morning. Say hello. Hi. Who are we talking to? Just the camera. My, my camera. My YouTube channel. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We're having fun, this end. We are having so much fun. My nana's moved in to stay with my mum. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it, mum? My nana now lives in my mum's downstairs like study we've yes. converted we've converted the study into a um, little bedroom for her yeah can we go to you can we go to pilates yes let's go to let's pilates go. let's go we're gonna try and basically it's not my gym and i've not booked onto pilates but we're hoping that someone's yeah, cancelled last minute or doesn't show up so i can get in what if not i'll just go to the gym just this what that okay. yeah. right. hopefully he won't you might. The dog's done a poo this morning. To. I think we'll be editing that bit out. No, I think I'll keep it in. Ugh. The dog's done a poo this morning on the carpet and when Anna wants to know what you squirt on the poos to get rid of it. Oh, let's go to Pilates. It's a nice one down here. It's mm. a nice one down here. Yep. Let's go. Off you go. Rocking it. Let's do it. Rocking the Pilates. See, See you later. Can I get dressed? Yes. Hey Tobes. We're going now. No more poos. No, I have enough of those. Thank enough you. of those? That's it, you tell him. I will tell him. <laughs> Bless you, love, I will tell him. Bye, Toby. Bye, Nana. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh, look at... Oh, you've got your own Pilates oh, mat. Pilates mat. Oh, that's cute. My mum thinks she's a Pilates expert now and she wants to do a... Um, Pilates instructor oh, course. my car key. One. Yes, my mother wants to um, become a Pilates instructor because she's done a few Pilates classes now. <laughs> She said she can't be, be at the age of 56. Oh, don't tell everyone how old I am. She can't be at the age of age of 56 and that'd be it. Needs oh, a, more. needs a, there's more to life. You need a purpose. Never thought I'd say this, but I am really hoping that I can get onto Pilates because I forgot my headphones. So if I have to just do a normal session in the gym without my headphones, that is going to be a real struggle. I've normally got some in my bag, but I've taken them out. All right. It's not overly helpful. No, sorry, that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we just we just got to the gym now. The class starts in ten minutes, so I'm hoping I can squeeze in. But if not, it's not a drama. Heather and I are going to Cambridge this evening um, because it's the launch of a cookbook. I went to a restaurant um, not that long ago called Giggling Squid. I think it's a chain. It's like a Thai restaurant. Anyway, we got invited to the launch of the cookbook. We get to like make our own spring rolls and have dinner there. So I'll bring you along with us. To that this evening. Hello. I've got a space in Pilates. You're going to see how unflexible I am. Let's see if I can record anything. Again, trying to find that balance. 
Okay, Pilates done. My observation. Um, my observation of Pilates. One second, I've got a seatbelt on. Is that everyone in there was Karens? The class was full of Karens. Everyone was just a bit unfriendly. Agree? Yeah. Mum's very good at Pilates. Very flexible. Me on the other hand, not so much. I don't know what footage I got, but um. My hips are sore now, achy bum. I haven't got the um And I'd have active calories. Oh yeah, but I can't even twenty. I don't have the release of endorphins that after parties that I do after going to the no. gym, if I'm honest. No. Like I don't feel like, oh thank god that's done. I don't feel like um happy. <laughs> no, but it's quite enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like my body's um I feel like my body's benefited from it. I think at my age it's really good for me. Yeah, everyone in there was over the age of fifty five. Yeah. I, I, mum was the second. You were the second youngest. Yeah, defo. Um, but yeah, it was good. I, I'd go, I'd go consistently when I'm older. It'd be good to go at this age, but um, you, I'd just but, rather go to the gym. But but you need? Do you do need? I more do need to. Yeah, I'm very unflexible. I can barely even touch my toes. Also, I think I'm getting ill. I've got a very sore throat today. We're just going to drive to the retail park and grab a coffee. I think mum wants to get a I'm few going bits. Because I'm going to New York, aren't I? Oh yeah, mum's going to New York next, next week, week for so five I days. To look at a jacket and some comfy shoes. Oh, I'll help you do that. Thank you. TK Maxx. Anyone else's mum a lover of TK Maxx? Oh, we live in there. Literally obsessed. We are approaching mum's favourite shop. This is just our local, re well, mum's local, not my local anymore, but mum's local retail park. It's really good, actually. It's got JD Sports, H&M. It's like boots and stuff over there. We're in Biggles Wade, for anyone who wants to know. The less said about that shop these days, the better, to be honest. I don't know what's going on in there. Everything in the window looks quite nice, to be honest. When you go in, it's like you've been thrown back 20 years. Looking for a warm coat to walk around New York in. Picked up one to try on so far. Something that's warm, but also trendy. That's where we're struggling, isn't it? No. 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 <laughs> Definitely not pink. No. Black. Black safe. Oh. <laughs> no, too long. You don't like long. No. Too short. Too brown. God, no. No, Mum. What would I do without you? Oh, no. Too long. No, too long. Too long. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that, G.A.? That looks nice. What? No, no, that one what there. That's all right. How much is that? Thirty-four ninety-nine. What? Where's the check the label on that? Where's that from? SNS. SNS. Last time we came here, there was some bizarre stuff. Do you remember? Is that Hugo Boss? Guess. Oh, guess. Oh, gosh. That's nice, Mum. That's very nice. It looks a bit small, though. It's a medium. Keep that out. How much is it? 80. 80. Yeah, put it back. <laughs> <laughs> 50 is sort of the max we're going with, isn't it? <laughs> so tight. It's for a warm winter coat, we can't even. No, not green. What's that? Too no, long. too long. This one here, behind that, behind the blue. Too long. Too long. Fine, hold Mama and TK Maxx. <laughs> Probably. Oh, Mum, no, not the leopard print. With coats as well, you, t you tend to want to size up. Oh, it's not horrendous. It's a bit, it's a bit tacky. Like this shine and the the logo and the broken button. <laughs> I was all popping up. Oh my god! Oh my god! god we're literally that. breaking them. <gasps> all the buttons are popping off. What the hell? And you've lost weight. <laughs> Mum, we can't. It's literally breaking on you. I'll take it off. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. No, not a fan, sorry. Oh my God, if one more button falls off this thing. No, I've had enough. What the hell? 
What are you even doing with it? <laughs> That's the next one. Should we put them in the pocket? Yeah. Oh, it's got a nice detachable... Oh, detachable ring. A no, it's a bag. <laughs> oh, it's nice. <gasps> That's nice, that one. Big. Yeah, you want it big. The state of me, so. Uh, yeah. I like that. Treat yourself to a nice coat, Mum. You're going on holiday. That's lovely. Do you like it? I can't. I can't tell what you think. Not sure. Oh right. If you're not sure, then take it off. No, I don't like. The, I don't like the neckline. It's very um, gap, gapy, isn't it? Well, it is until you fold it down. It's all right. You want to love it, Mum. I don't love it. No. No, it's okay. We're going to get some... Um... No, but, no, but look at the price. Let's compare. Look, hold on. <laughs> We're just in M&S, by the way, guys. £1.80. £1.80 for six rolls. And soft white finger rolls. A 90p. Oh, What's 90p. the difference? Shape. I think you should get these. £1.85. For these tiny, tiny rolls, which is the size these of my thumb. These double up as hot dog rolls, don't they? Yeah, yeah, but they're not nice for soup. You don't want them with soup. Oh, should be. Nana will be fine with that. Are you sure? She won't mind, yeah. Just getting some M&S um, soup. Got this one for my nana, and then I have this one. Oh, in that case, I might go and change this for tomato soup. I'm going to have a toasty with it. Yeah. I want to have a cheese toasty with my soup, so I'm going to change this for tomato soup. I'm going to a Thai restaurant tonight anyway, so I don't need two lots of Thai. Oh wait, where's the soups? Here they are. By the way, um, we literally never shop at M&S, but it's because we had nothing in for lunch. And, um, yeah, perfect, I'll have that. And um, it's literally the only food shop in the retail park, so we've just come to M&S to grab some, um, literally just some bits for lunch. Mum's probably still looking at how many calories and everything. I'm on the diet, bless her. Just looking at calories. <laughs> <laughs> I want calories per slice, not quarter of a loaf. That's ridiculous. No. I'm looking at sourdough. Per two slices, that's 200 per two, so that's 100. Yeah, that's what we said yesterday, isn't it? Yeah. What, do you want something nice? Get something nice, Mum. Guys, a loaf of bread for four pounds. Yes, it's sourdough. Mum, watch your back. Okay, okay right, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Someone was just watching me moan about the price of bread, but that loaf of bread, four pounds. So, anyone else, as aesthetic as these look right, I'm sure they are lovely, like, um, I would just rather with chocolate, literally a 30p um, square of chocolate from Aldi or Little. Wow, what are these? <gasps> oh my god, to be fair, they look so good. I love like Baileys and Irish cream. Oh, wow. Okay, this makes me a little bit excited for Christmas because I do love a Baileys. But yeah, in our household, we're just not overly like excited for Christmas. Not because we don't like Christmas, but we only get excited about it for like when it's like two weeks to go. It's like a month and a half to go yet. Yeah. That's how much my two coffees came to yesterday. Yeah. Went to cost yesterday. I'll get it, Mum. I'll get it. No, I'm getting it. Yet. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like a paper receipt? No thanks. I have in front of me a very large bowl of soup. It's not actually a large bowl of soup, it's just a very small bowl. And I've also got for my lunch a um, cheese and pickle toasty. Having a lunch date with my nana. She's Cheers. got a chicken soup. Cheers. And she had a bread roll. Very spicy. 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 Spicy chicken soup. She likes the spice. I'm gonna enjoy this now. Mother's just pottering away. Lovely day. Toby, you good boy, you can sit down. You're not gonna get any though. You don't want tomato soup, do you? Mm -hmm. I can maybe give you a bit of crust, we really do that. Good boy, good boy, well done. Take it away. Toby, Toby, are we gonna go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? I'm going for a walk. Go and get your lead. Go and get your lead. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Shall we?
we go for a walk? Is that what you want to do? The less said about that walk, the better. Mm. <laughs> We've been walking about three minutes, it just torrentially downpoured. So we cut it short. <sighs> Soaking wet. Look at that. Toby. I literally said to mum before we left, I was like, it's going to rain, look. Look at the clouds. She's like, no, it doesn't rain here. Oh, evidently it does. Poor little Toby. Oh, Toby. Oh, baby. Toby. Are we going to give you a good wash? A good clean? <laughs> Oh, darling, I'm sorry we had to do a little short walk. That was mummy's fault. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to cry. Toby, I'm going to cry. Your feet. Oh. oh, your little feet. You are such a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? The bestest boy. <laughs> Just quickly got ready. We're going to drive to Cambridge right. now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to Giggling Squid, the restaurant in Cambridge. The launch of the cookbook, um, we're having like a chat with the owner, yeah. she's doing a bit of a speech, working for a cookbook, and then we, yeah, we make, we get to like make our own spring rolls, and just have a bit of a meal, I think. I honestly have no idea what to expect, um, I just got yeah. messaged on Instagram if I wanted to come, and I'm bringing my mother as a plus one. Very excited. I'll just quickly show you what I'm wearing. I've got on my trusty cargoes from Superdry, I love these ones. Hello! I've got a dog on me. Um, this little crop top from Zara, and then this blazer, it's actually from Primark, um, but I quite like it, just a little crop blazer, and then some jewellery, that's us good to we go. Oh, oh, no, no, come on, that's I've never done an OOTD. She watches so much YouTube and has never done an OOTD, so black blazer from Marks and Spencer's. Marks and Spencer's. Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> This is from Zara, so it says it's too green. It's but very green, but it's nice. And some faux leather trousers. These are from Lipsy in, within Next. Where? Um, Lipsy? Lipsy, Next. All oh, right, not Lipsy yeah. London. No, Lipsy Next. Uh, no. I got them from Lipsy in Next, within Next. Oh, okay. And some white and pink trainers from Sainsbury's. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what bag have you got? Oh, bag, handbag is... Oh, um... Bag. TK Maxx. Of course it's TK Maxx. Yes. That's us. Um, I don't know what Bye. I'll be able to film when I get there. Um, but hopefully I'll show you what we get up to. So we've just arrived. How cute is this table? We've got our little um, name tags. And we get the cookbook. <laughs> How cute. Honestly this restaurant is literally stunning. Like, I've been before and last time I came it was beautiful. That's two spring rolls down. I think mine are looking really spot on. It's doing well. Yeah. Got a chef lesson. <laughs> because that was so good, I'm getting another lesson. <laughs> yep. I don't even know what it is. It looks like tea, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, what the you do the the mango and chili mosquito cocktail. Just the, the, the mango and chili. Yeah, the mango is going inside the show. Just the mango. No, the alcohol. So next thing, alcohol alcohol. And the mango in here as well. And all of them over. Yeah. Well, I hope so. It's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it just goes in there, does it? Nice big slap, put it inside your cocktail shaker. How much? It usually is 10 leaves, but if you just get a ball that fills the inside of your palm, that's going to be more than enough. All right. Yeah. Nice. Have you got mint? Yeah. So just grab it. I'm not as confident this is on securely at all. I'm not confident in anything. Oh, you look really good doing that. So we're going to just pour the contents into the rocks glasses, oh, including the mint as well. Uh, and we'll also see, so we'll go around. Can we try it then? We're trying it. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, no, I will use it now. Back. Cheers. Thank you so much. 
The spring rolls are out. Looking stunning. To be honest, I'm really impressed with how they've turned out. Can't wait to tuck in. Look at them. Wow. Have you seen us make our cocktails as well? Very nice. <laughs> So it's actually two days later now. I have been bedridden with the worst cough, cold, whatever it is. I'm two COVID tests. They've both been negative, which is very surprising. But then I think people forget that. You can just have a normal cough and cold these days. Like, it doesn't have to be COVID. But even me, I'm like, I've got COVID, I've got COVID. Like, everyone seems to be getting it at the minute. <coughs> anyway, I just thought I would bring this vlog to a close here. Um, I've just edited it back. And I have enjoyed editing this so much. It's definitely one of my favourite vlogs. Obviously, um, I'm sure you would have liked to have seen more engagement party footage. But just take my word for it that it was great. Um... And I did think, I think I managed to include some of Danny's speech in it as well, which was the nicest thing ever. He just cut out before he started to feel soppy and told everyone how I was the most beautiful girl in the world. And um, he just did amazing. Like, he absolutely killed that speech. I wasn't expecting it at all, to be honest. Um, he really took me by surprise, but it was lovely. And um, what we both managed to do as well was we did manage to actually give each other quite a bit of time on the night of our engagement party. I know a lot of people have said like at weddings and stuff you barely even see your partner and to always try and like make sure that you make time for each other. So we did manage to do that even though we were running around like trying to see people and give other people our time as well. Um but collectively together like me and him we just really loved it so much and not that I even thought this was possible but it's just made us even better and stronger and brought us even closer together. I'm just eternally grateful for everything that he does as well. Yesterday he was actually in London. Um, he was meeting the King of Jordan, King Abdullah. He got a medal from the King of Jordan. He's got that here. Um, he got that for leadership. So he just, to be honest, continues to smash it like every single day. But anyway, I think I've edited this up to like 35 minutes. So this could be like a 40 minute vlog, which is crazy. I've never done a 40 minute vlog. Let me know your thoughts on long ones. Personally, when I'm watching them, I only like to watch vlogs that are like 30 minutes because I don't have 40 minutes or more to like try and kill really. So 30 minute vlogs I tend to like, but let's see. Um, but I think my last one was quite long as well and a few of you commented that you like the longer vlog so let me know your thoughts on the length of this and just everything that was in it really and, but yeah if you got to the end of this video and you stuck around thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it because I've enjoyed it so much and I will see you all very shortly in my next video bye guys <laughs>